Good, good. Ready for, you guys feel as a whole ready for the season? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we are. I think we're ready to go. Um, ready to get things started. Did you get everything you wanted to out of camp, all the learning, all the focus on defense? Do you feel like there's still more uh, to be done as far as preparing for where you want to be? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why you go through a season and um, you still, you know, figuring out, uh, you know, your teammates, uh, coaches still trying to figure out uh, what chemistry works together on the floor and uh, what areas, you know, that they see, the, you know, that uh, we're having a downfall in. So that's what the season's about. Um, but, you know, I think we prepared enough uh, to be able to start. For you personally, Kawhi, because uh, during your time in the Clipper, coming into this camp fully healthy and a full go, how do you feel going into this season over compared to all your other openers that you were able to play in as a Clipper? Um, just worrying about today and today I feel good and I'm ready to go um, when the season starts well, what are your thoughts on Terrence in the starting lineup obviously you've been, him, been with him for a while now just what are your thoughts on what he can bring to that starting group um, we've seen it before um, you know what he could bring to that starting unit um, he did a great job with us last year uh, filling that um, point guard role or just um, being in that starting lineup and, um, you know, the same thing is uh, expected from him uh, to come in and, you know, play defense, uh, knock down shots, and uh, just be aggressive and confident throughout the whole entire game. In years past, you mentioned that seasons are long and that even good teams go through these periods where you might be going through darkness, like a tunnel, and you have to get through those moments. Russell, I'm reminded of that because Russell said that Developing a top mindset, top mindset is one of the things he wanted to see most during this preseason. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of where this team's just mindset is for making a long run like that? Um, no, this is, you never know. Like I said before, uh, until you get, you know, get these games going and and seeing how people are reacting and um, how the coaches are reacting and. Um, then from there, uh, you get a sense of what you need to do at that time to improve as a team. Kawhi, what do you think were the key parts of your off-season rehab to get to the point where you do feel good that we're in the season? Um, I think last year came off of ACL. So pretty much just like I said last year, it's like a two-year process of talking to guys and seeing, um, you know, when they do start feeling good or just, uh, you know, trusting your knee. And, um, it's just something that you feel, and I mean, you know, one day uh, it just turns around for you. So uh, it wasn't really nothing too different. Um, like I said, I stayed to my same routine. Um, yeah. So did that did that day that you said that it <coughs> turns around? Did it already come for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm saying I feel good, right? Yeah. When you look at uh, last season for you, ramping up the way that you did the last couple months and in, in, into the postseason, the way that you were playing, does that give you like a little bit more confidence internally at how you came back, that you were able to get to that level as quick as you did? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't about just performance and putting up numbers. It's like I've been saying, it's about just how your overall body's feeling at the time. And, um, you know, uh, I, I felt like I was still trying to, you know, get through some humps. Um, and just get healthy. But, um, you know, I was able to, like you said, show, uh, you know, fans or, uh, you know, other players in the league and myself that I was able to, you know, play at a high level. So, so for you, it's not so much the on the court that gives you the confidence. It's, it's just the off the court and how your body feels at that specific time. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, on court stuff, uh, you're going to have ups and downs. Um, if you're rating a game off of missed shots or minutes played, um, it, it's tough. Um, you know, try to to try to, I guess, measure yourself to, you know, being a great player. But um, at that point, I was just trying to get healthy. Um, you know, just just trying to move and. Um, you know, I knew numbers would come. Um, I wasn't really focused on that at the time, trying to win games. That's that's what I'm focused on. So, um, you know, as the season went on, uh, I was able to get minutes and make shots. And, you know, the rhythm came and kept going from there. Kawhi, I wanted to ask about a move that we saw in the playoffs, saw in preseason, where 
you'll pick up your dribble. It's it feels like an extra step, but you've got it down to where you take that step towards the basket and get like a floater or something like that. Like, how did you develop your footwork, or what did you kind of understand about the rules about the zero step, or or where your pivot is to take advantage of where you're at on the court there? Um. You know, just playing, just playing over the years, uh, taking that extra step and um, just learning that you could pick up the back foot, and but you have to pass or shoot the ball. So um, just from there, uh, my bench stepping through and shooting is just uh, me learning that you could pick up the back foot when I, when you do step through. Where, where, when did you get to the point where, like, is that something that you just kind of look at other players do or – because do I don't really see anybody else really do that move the way you're doing it um, as much or as effectively. Uh, I mean, I guess just watching uh, watching film on myself, um, and then like I said, just just talking. Um, I think a lot of WNBA players do it. I thought it was just a, a WNBA rule at first, but um, like I said, I realized that you could pick up that back foot. When you, when you look at the, the, the three-point shooting in this preseason, um, hasn't been probably where you wanted it. I'm, I'm curious what your if concern or just your thoughts on, on, on the, the looks that you've gotten and then three-point percent. I know you look at the season as a whole, but so far it's been kind of low in the preseason. Uh, as a team? Yeah. Um, I think it's just rhythm. Um, obviously, um, I mean, we'll see once it's like 20 games in or so, uh, once guys start getting that rhythm and knowing we playing every day. And also training camp, um, you know, some we might not have our legs under us, uh, and you know that's just just another rhythm thing of getting your legs stronger and knowing when you're gonna get shot. So I think it's gonna come. You know, some of the games we play, we practice hard before. Um, you know, long like two, three hours. So it's not it's not gonna be like that during season since we're gonna be playing two or three hour games um, every other day. All right, last question from right. Seattle. Um, Ty said that you've spoken up in some huddles about the yeah, guys who didn't know the plays. Um, in the last couple weeks since that second preseason game, have you been encouraged by just sort of the now, overall knowledge of the offense throughout the team? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, just uh, telling the guys, um, like, most of us being here, so we should know what we're doing. But like I said, it like I've just been saying, it's about uh, playing games and getting a rhythm. But I felt like uh, since then we've gotten better and uh, we're still knowing the plays now. All right, you guys, thank you.